Hi there, friend. This is Lee Posky. This message is actually a do-over of a message that I recently made. It seemed to me that some people misunderstood what I was trying to communicate. And so now I'm going to follow an old saying that's very good advice. It's not enough that you speak so that you're understood, but you should speak with such clarity that you're not misunderstood. And now with the Holy Spirit's guidance, that's what I intend to do. Friend, are you familiar with the truth of Christ formed in you? Well, it comes from Galatians 4.19, and I think about that message a lot. Here it is in context. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again, until Christ be formed in you. I desire to be present with you now, and to change my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? So what's that about? That's about Paul doubting the salvation of some professing Christians at the church of Galatia. These were people who were previous, who previously appeared to embrace the grace of God, but had fallen for the sales pitch of religion and had let Judaizers put them under the yoke of the law. They had no solid footing in grace as they should have had. And it's a warning that still applies today as much as it ever did. Surely you've noticed that almost everyone seems to claim to be a Christian, don't they? But we know for a fact that all of them aren't actually born again by the Spirit of God. In fact, Jesus himself makes this clear in Matthew chapter 7. He said this, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Then you have the parable of the sower in Matthew chapter 13, where false Christians fall away, and so on. So what's the point that I'm trying to make in all of this? It's simply to urge everyone to test whether or not you're really in the faith. Is Christ formed in you? In the simplest terms, I would advise anyone to heavily consider these facets of salvation. Have you truly owned your sin guilt and sought God's mercy in the risen Lord Jesus Christ? Are you truly resting in the finished work of Christ? Do you have a new heart of Christ that's, that's distinctly different from your heart prior to regeneration? Do you see how that your unregenerate flesh is nothing but sin, and you deserve only punishment in hell. And if you come to the spiritual place where you, where you identify with and rest only in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ as your entire standing with God, and are your thoughts and affections now primarily set on pleasing your loving Savior? Well, friend, most professing Christians fail that test, and most often, they fail that test in what they're trusting in. Most look to their morality or their baptism or something they've done or something they're doing rather than resting in the finished work of Christ as they're standing with God. So that's why I present this all-important question for you to consider. Has Christ been formed in you? All right. Well, hopefully this time the message is better understood. And I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ. And no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.